Yeah. So you're recording? We're recording. Let's take a look at a Adobe collage on Touch. Sorry about that. There's uh, just my screen's a little dirty, but again, this is on uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1. Uh, if we jump in here to collage, again, plenty of apps going on here. I jump into collage. Um, I can easily sort of create a new one if I want to just by hitting that plus button. Pretty straightforward. And again, I literally just spent a couple minutes sort of learning uh, how to use this. So I can go ahead and select, say, some sort of background image or pattern. And if I had additional images, I can load them in as well. So again, pen tool right here, if I select that. I can select anything from the marker, the size, the opacity, and of course the color. But again, it's nice that I'm able to select that and let's get a, a decent color going on, something like that. That looks good. And then I can draw. So the cool thing is, is even if I up the size of it, see as I click and drag, mm -hmm. it makes that size larger. But even as I go, you know, I can, find it. I can touch a little lighter and it starts to trail in a trail out. Or I could use two fingers. So again, as I draw, and I move, manipulate the size, it'll actually make it a little a little thinner is the idea. That one didn't work out too well. I am left-handed, so it gets a little a little tricky. Uh, so nonetheless, you have all of your drawing tools, and again, you can go ahead and you know add some text as well right here. Of course, you know exactly what it does. Pick my font, activate the keyboard, like that. You guys get the idea. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Again, hello, done, and then there's that element. And again, horrible, horrible job designing. So you know what, let's just uh, get uh, out of that altogether. If I jump back, you know, this is something more like what you do is, again, if you have photos um, in the Creative Cloud, you can go ahead and add them to your layout. And uh, again, based on, say, wherever you were, you might have come up with some really nice photos that basically say start with some sort of palette on or some sort of project. So again, that's Collage. It's in one of the new apps uh, due out sort of in the future. Uh, no specific date yet, but it is uh, definitely fun and pretty inspirational working with this stuff. Great. Thank you very much. We're here looking at the uh, Photoshop Touch, and this is going to be demonstrated on a Galaxy Tab. All right, so as you can see, we have plenty of uh, different apps. These are all sort of based on the Creative Cloud. We can go in here to Photoshop Touch, and I can watch some tutorials on it, or even jump in, begin a tutorial. But really, I'm just going to jump in and start a project. So pretty straightforward. I can jump out to the Creative Cloud. So here's some photos that I have saved. So from here, I can say, you know what? What do I want to use, sort of start designing with? I'm like, well, I kind of like this. Say, for instance, when I'm doing fashion design, I can pick that image, or I can pick sort of any other. Uh, as they load, you can see there's actually quite a few. Um, just kind of starting from there, I can take sort of that dresses image. Could pretty much be anything. So again, selected those two, click Add. It'll add them to this project. You'll see them there, and then I can start creating with them. So again, there's my fabric. I can see that. And uh, you can see the first thing I did is screwed that up. So of course I have the good old undo, which is probably the most used button. But from there, as a designer, I can go ahead and pick a brush and figure out sort of what design I'd maybe want to add to this fabric. So from here, I can adjust my brushes. I'll touch enable. So whether it's the hardness, I can make that a little harder or um, a little smaller as well. And of course, you know what that color circle does. But from there, I can start designing as a designer or as a um, somebody doing any sort of fabric design I can start based on maybe something that I've seen while I was out and about. So from there I can start designing. Notice I can even add a new layer. So I probably should have put that on an empty layer but nonetheless you do have layers just like you ha would have in Photoshop and uh, from there you can start to you know add some more additional uh, artwork whatever the case may be. Uh, and you can look at this sort of full screen um, I would, I could actually composite sort of more images with it as well, um, but nonetheless, you know, I don't want to make this too long of a video. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, it could do quite a bit. Um, we can do some more edge aware stuff, so detect the edge and cut it out as well. Uh, and then we even have the ability to add certain effects. So again, if you want to do this as a designer, first of all, I'm just going to go ahead and check that background, and let's go ahead and make that a half tone pattern. You can see that halftone pattern. If I like it, I can click Apply. 
and you can see how you can quickly start to destroy an image. So again, uh, don't necessarily do as I do, because I don't know if I'm really that much of a designer, but you can see through quick effects and even any of these adjustments, you can start to come up with something pretty cool. But that's all about the creative community being able to develop like they can in Photoshop on the desktop, just this time it's on, of course, uh, a device, in particular a tablet. So at the end of the day, you can also transfer it to Photoshop as well. So again, this would go up to your Creative Cloud, which is where uh, I have all those other images as well. So again, it's pretty quick, just a quick little demo. Uh, definitely really cool. Uh, it's not coming out yet. There's my project, beautiful. And uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to getting this out in the market and getting in the hands of uh, the creative community. Great, thank you.